Hello dear friends, I am Amit Belekar from Tips and Tricks by AMB welcomes you to my channel. Before moving further, if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon to get notifications of all my new videos. In previous presentation, we had discussed about tablets, types of tablets and tablets for oral ingestion in detail. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about tablets used in oral cavity. After going through the video, the learner will be able to describe types of tablets used in oral cavity. Already, we discussed that tablets are solid, flat or biconvex this unit dosage forms prepared by compressing a drug or a mixture of drug with or without excipients. We also discussed that tablets are broadly classified into four types as tablets for oral ingestion, tablets used in oral cavity, tablets used by other roots and tablets used for preparation of solution. In this presentation, we are limiting ourselves to the tablets used in oral cavity. Tablets used in oral cavity are the tablets which are intended to keep in mouth cavity or oral cavity or buccal cavity to achieve either local action in the mouth cavity or to achieve systemic effect after absorption of drug from mucosa of mouth cavity. These are not intended to ingest into the GI tract that is gastrointestinal tract. Tablets used in oral cavity are further subtyped as buccal tablets, sublingual tablets, troches or lozenges and dental cones. We will discuss these types one by one. First is Buccal tablet. As name indicates, these are the tablets which are to be placed in mouth cavity in between the gums and lips or gums and cheeks. Drug is dissolved or disintegrated slowly in mouth cavity and absorbed directly into blood through mucous membrane of the mouth cavity without passing into gastrointestinal canal. As it avoids entry of drug in gastrointestinal tract, drug is not exposed to first pass metabolism. Also, such tablets have quick onset of action as compared with orally ingested tablets. Such tablets should contain the medicament which do not increase salivation. Next type is sublingual tablets. It is the word coming from two words which sub means below and lingual meaning tongue. Thus, these are the tablets which are placed under the tongue to achieve quick systemic effect by rapid absorption through the mucous membrane. The drug will dissolve rapidly and will absorb rapidly as large vascular supply is present below the tongue. Here also, tablet is not intended to be swallowed into the gastrointestinal canal, thus avoiding first pass metabolism of drug. Example, glycerol trinitrate or isosorbide dinitrate are the drugs which are manufactured as sublingual tablet dosage form for quick relief from angina pectoris. Now next type is lozenges tablets or troches. These tablets are used in mouth cavity to achieve local effect in mouth and throat. Usually used to treat sore throat or to control coughing in common cold. These are not intended to disintegrate in mouth. These are designed to dissolve slowly in mouth cavity. Along with medicament, lozenges have sugar candy base 
फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट एंड सब्सटेंस विच प्रोड्यूसेस कूलिंग इफेक्ट इन द माउथ दीज आर प्रिपेयर्ड बाय फ्यूजन मेथड और कैंडी मेकिंग प्रोसेस और बाय कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस द कैटेगरीज ऑफ ड्रग मे प्रेजेंट इन द लोजेंजेस आर लोकल एनेस्थेटिक्स विच प्रोड्यूसेस लॉस ऑफ सेंसेशन फ्रॉम द एरिया ऑफ एप्लीकेशन एंटीसेप्टिक्स विच प्रिवेंट्स सेप्सिस antibacterial which prevent growth or kill the bacteria astringents which precipitates protein and antitussives which reduces coughing now next type is dental cones these are the less popular tablets which are meant to be kept in empty tooth sockets after extraction of the tooth These tablets contain astringent or coagulant and antibacterial drugs. Astringent or coagulant reduces or stops bleeding and antibacterial prevents growth of bacteria in empty sockets. Excipients like lactose, sodium bicarbonate and sodium chloride are incorporated in such tablets. The dental cones are designed to dissolve within 20 to 40 minutes now it's time to summarize today's session we had discussed various tablets used in oral cavity in details like buccal tablets which are to be kept in mouth cavity between gums and cheeks for local or systemic effects sublingual tablets which are kept below the tongue for rapid absorption of drug and to achieve rapid effect lozenges are the tablets allowed to dissolve slowly in mouth cavity to achieve local effect in mouth or throat and finally we had discussed dental cones which are used in empty sockets after tooth extraction thank you for listening me patiently If you like this presentation please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notifications of all further videos like it and share it to your dear ones drop your queries in comments or on my mail address which is given in the video thank you once again